What is going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den. Welcome to another episode of our Strongman series. We're in this series, we're breaking down uh, basically muscle groups and giving you guys exercises that are gonna help strengthen that muscle group specifically. So when it comes to this series, you guys should obviously be doing your compound lifts. So you're squatting, you're benching, you're deadlifting, of course you're overhead pressing, uh, but these are gonna be a little bit more specific uh, to that muscle group. So let's get right to it, okay? And we're gonna establish these exercises for the lower back, all right? When it comes to uh, everything we do in strongman, basically, we gotta make sure that we have a really strong lower back. So if you're throwing in these exercises, you better bet that we're gonna build a strong, unbreakable low back. So let's get right to exercise number one. All right guys, exercise number one, something I used to do in high school and really when I first started getting into training uh, was back extensions, all right? I think a lot of people overlook how great back extensions can be for strengthening that lower back. Uh, so obviously we wanna throw those bad boys in. Now when it comes to doing these, Everybody's gonna be at a different level here, okay? Some people can handle a higher volume with them. Some people, uh, if you're not used to it, you're gonna fatigue pretty quickly. And we wanna make sure that we're doing them with proper technique, okay? And, and also not pushing that volume to an extreme where we are breaking down the low back too much. So I recommend anywhere from two to three sets. Start off with anywhere from eight to 15 reps, okay? Start with body weight. And then from there, you can progressively overload that movement with sets, reps, weight, etc. Now you probably have seen the back extension uh, machine in your gym, so if you have one, use one. Uh, you guys can also use uh, a GHD as well, okay? So it serves a multiple purposes uh, with that, so check those out. But uh, exercise number one right off the bat is gonna be back extensions for the low back. All right, second exercise for the low back is gonna be one of my favorite deadlift variations, and that's going to be a block pull, okay? now. If you don't have blocks to do block pulls from, you can easily do rack pulls, all right? So if your gym allows you to do rack pulls, do that. And typically we wanna start that pull um, right about where our knees are, or maybe even a little bit higher, okay? So the higher you go, it's gonna be a shorter range of motion and it's still gonna impact that lower back. Uh, so figure out where you're comfortable with, but I would say knee is gonna be a great starting point for you guys to do these pulls from. Uh, and over time, this is really gonna help strengthen your lower back. What I really like about rack pulls is you can overload the movement really heavy. Okay, so you're getting a pretty good stimulus to fatigue ratio there. So you can go pretty balls to the walls with them and still be able to recover uh, pretty well if you have subsequent training sessions throughout the week. So I'd recommend uh, anywhere from three to four sets. You can be anywhere from that eight to 12 rep range if you're really looking to build up that lower back, get some more volume in there, uh, strengthen that muscle group. Third, on the list for lower back. This one is something I honestly haven't done that much, but when I did do them, I fell in love with them. And what that is, is gonna be the Ukrainian deadlift, okay? So Ukrainian deadlift, uh, what I like about it is that you're kind of getting like a flexion row in with the deadlift. Um, and it's something that's super simple to do. And once again, you can pack on that volume with this exercise and really find that you're, you're not only strengthening your lower back, but your mid and your upper. So it's kind of like one of those cross exercises that, that just does you well in so many ways. Um, but I also like how specific it can be to strongman. So when we're looking at that low back position and, and the same mimicking of, with how we do Ukrainian deadlifts is it goes hand in hand with uh, log clean and press, uh, stones, sandbags, so it's very specific to the, the posture that we're gonna be using for strongman. So I highly recommend throwing in some Ukrainian deadlifts. If you're looking for something different, um, it's super easy. All you need is basically just uh, some sort of loadable pin, okay, and uh, just some boxes to stand on. And I like to do these for three or four sets, once again, in that eight to 12 rep range. Now, if you actually wanna use it for strength, you totally could, uh, and you can load it as heavy as possible and use it uh, for more, let's just say, in that five to six rep range uh, for multiple sets if you wanna just progress in that movement. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I, I tend to use these as accessories, so the volume's gonna be a little bit higher. Uh, and once again, great bang for your buck exercise. That's gonna really help uh, mimic the movement patterns that you're gonna see in strongman. All right, my friends, exercise number four in this low back series is going to be good mornings. Once again, an exercise that I, I did early on in my training career for a good amount, 
And it's one of those things where I'm actually throwing back in more recently uh, because I am trying to strengthen my lower back. So with these, you're really just trying to focus on getting the best range of motion uh, that you can do personally. And over time, you, you'll be able to do more and more. But what we're focusing on with these good mornings is not a whole lot of knee bend. Okay, really trying to shoot our butt back towards the wall, keeping a nice proud chest and feeling that stretch uh, in the hamstrings and the low back. Okay, so if you're not feeling that, you need to play with uh, your technique on the lift. Uh, and for some people, this can be a great range of motion. Some people, this is not so much. So it really depends on you as an individual. Uh, I personally love using the SSB bar when I do good mornings. It's just comfier. Um, and just because of what we do in Strawman, we have the opportunity to use tons of different bars. So I'd recommend if you guys just wanna be comfortable doing your good mornings, if you have an SSB bar, go for it. If not, a regular barbell is completely fine. Uh, so typically for these, I like doing three sets and you're in that eight to 12 rep range. And I can't overstate how important it is to have good technique with these. Um, keep your ego at the door and make sure that you're picking a weight that you can really dial in that mind muscle connection with. Uh, get a great stimulus to the low back and the hamstrings. And uh, I think this is gonna do you well. The fifth and final exercise. Some of you guys are probably gonna give me a little bit of crap, but I'll explain myself and that is gonna be the reverse hyper. Made a whole video on the reverse hyper, okay? So click the link right up here to watch that. Now, why people may throw some shade is because I basically say that the reverse hyper is not necessary, which is true. However, if you have one, go for it, use it. I think it's an awesome tool if you're trying to target that lower back. And, and the more importantly, what I love about it is you can put a ton of weight on there and get a really good, and I keep saying it's a stimulus to fatigue ratio. So we can really hit that low back with a ton of weight, but our overall fatigue is pretty low. So some people use it for therapeutic reasons because it helps decompress the spine and it just feels better. Other people use it as an accessory movement. So for the sake of this video, uh, I recommend it more for accessory and the fact that you can get a ton of volume into the low back and be able to still continually train uh, multiple days proceeding after you use it. So reverse hyper, if you got one, use it. If not, there are other ways to work around it, hence the four other exercises that we had just given you to strengthen your lower back. Uh, but I just wanted to throw it in there because one, I see a lot of straw men who are huge fans of it. So it's hard to uh, dismiss that fact that a lot of people in the community love the reverse hyper. So I think it should get some recognition. Um, and if it were me, I'd probably would throw it in there uh, let's just say, you know, three or four sets. And since we can overload it uh, a decent amount, I like going in that, let's just say 15 to 20 rep range uh, to kind of really work those muscles and get the stimulus that we're looking for. So that is my fifth and final uh, exercise, the reverse hyper. All right guys, so there you have it. Those are our five exercises we would use to strengthen our lower back specifically for strong man. So if you like this, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out all the other videos. We're gonna put this playlist together so you guys can go through them video by video and implement it into your training. The other cool thing is we have programs on the website, zashrank.net. We have specific strongman programs. If you're in a strongman training, plug and play with your events, your movements, what have you. Very simple. However, if you know how to do it on your own, these videos should just help aid in you being able to create that program. Uh, so as always, guys, we appreciate your support of the channel, uh, watching the videos, subscribing, all the good stuff. Uh, but until then, guys, stay a lean, mean, track machine. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.